Okay guys, uh, just going to get into right here. I am going to do a compression test on the Alfa Romeo. Um, starting with the back cylinder there. I believe it's cylinder 4. Not 100% sure, sure on that. Should be, whatever. Call it cylinder 4. 3, 2, 1. Um, we'll get a compression test. Uh, the engine's cold, so the numbers might be a little lower than normal. I unplug the uh, ignition coil. Um, wire so the engine will not fire up. So I'm going to go ahead and here and crank her over. Let's just give a few cranks here. Okay, sitting about uh, 120 there. So, um, from what I can find online, that's actually not too bad, uh, believe it or not. So, let's go ahead and do the other cylinders. Okay, uh, second cylinder in here. Ooh, one's a bit lower. Almost a hundred. Now I gave that second cylinder a few more cranks. Um, I did the pressure release, and then, and it's up to 120. So that's good. Uh, first two cylinders, real good compression so far. As long as they stay even within 10 percent, um, that's pretty good. So on to the next cylinder here. All right, this is going to be the uh, third cylinder in. Let's see how it does. All right, this cylinder is also. Oh, she's a little higher. About one, uh, one thirty or so. So that cylinder's good. On to the last one. All right, going to the uh, last cylinder here. So. crap in my garage. Okay. All right, same thing, a little over 120. So pretty much this engine, as far as compression goes, is pretty healthy. Everything I could find on the Alpha bulletin boards, um, there's people with fresh built engines only having, you know, 140, 150. So uh, 120 across the board pretty much I'm happy with. It means the engine's healthy, it doesn't mean there's no leak down, I mean I can do a leak down test at a later date. I was just kind of making sure the engine was still good. Um, I mean if there was one cylinder a lot lower than the rest, then I uh, probably would just slap some you know, plugs and wires on it and just drive the thing and you know, not worry about anything. But uh, since, since uh, it seems healthy there, um, I'll probably go ahead, I'll get new plugs, new wires. All new silicone hoses, radiator hoses, uh, belts and everything, and then uh, put some tires on it and uh, go for a drive and see how she does. Um, but uh, this is definitely good information and good news, so hopefully I'll be doing some more videos on this here uh, this uh, summer and uh, spring because uh, it's getting nice out, so it's nicer being in the garage. Um, if you want to see more along how this, uh, this goes out uh, throughout the year, um, just subscribe to the channel and hopefully I'll be driving this thing here in a few months. Thanks. Bye.